Due to the fact that YouTube has demonetized most of the videos that we make here, it is important to support us on Patreon. The following is a production of Corrupted Entertainment in association with The Joe Cronin Show. Listen to other episodes and shows on YouTube.com slash Corrupted Podcast. Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm here with uh, Mars Mirror uh, from YouTube. Go check out his YouTube channel, by the way. We've been looking at it for a while. He does a lot of news stories uh, over there, and there's this uh, crazy thing going on in Texas, which I... By the way, I found out about this because last night I was laying down at like midnight and I was uh, I'm subscribed still to the like the Alex Jones channel and the Infowars people were like right there at the scene with their cameras because the girl one of the one of the woman reporters over there, she like lives near there or used to live there in this area where this happened. So that's how I got all my information last night. There was cuz it's Sunday night like CNN and all them weren't jumping on to talk about, you know, two little bombs that blew up and they I don't think they would be able to cover anything if it really happened on a Sunday night like that yeah probably not how did you hear about it because I I mean it's on Yahoo today and it's on some news stations but I don't see it um I, I was sitting around eating dinner and I actually got a I'm subscribed to and they sent an alert through saying that you know there's bombs went off in Austin that's weird and uh, you know initially I didn't think much of it you know I'm like oh that's that's kind of weird yeah, I thought you know. the same thing. I thought I thought it was explosions at first. I heard like explosions, but then now it's like, oh, people got hurt, and it's way more methodical. I thought it was just random explosions were going on, and then to find out like, oh, they're putting for sale signs down on people's houses, and then when you come to move it, you know, then it blows up and hurts you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely some uh, planning involved in this one, you know, for sure. It's weird, dude, because everyone's jumping on. You know, everyone's freaking out trying to. Um, you know, blame it on something already. We don't even know anything, you know. who It sounds like it's a, I mean, it seems to me like it's a rogue person, you know what I mean? Like it's a maybe ex-military or somebody like that who's kind of knows something, who's gone crazy. I mean, like, I who knows? There's really no way to know, but. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to say, but I mean, it's definitely somebody that knows what they're doing, you know, for sure. Yeah, it's really weird and methodical. It says they're, uh, police are like looking for, um, they're like pleading with the person to come forward. Uh, we hope this person is watching. Um, we hope you will reach out to us before anyone else is injured or anyone else is killed out of this event. Um, three, yeah, the guy's gonna come and say, "Oh, come on. so they've they are they have killed somebody." So no one's claiming. There's been no claim though. That's the weird thing. It's somebody i imagine if they're watching they're probably just like smiling about it like or some there's some sicko you know because why you're not coming forward right now it's kind of bizarre yeah i mean they're obviously they're loving the the, you know the uh, press are getting on it and uh you know i I mean i I don't think it's going to stop i think there's going to be some more you know honestly so i think there was like um i don't know who was injured today i know there was uh, two black guys were hurt before uh, two white guys were hurt this time, so there's no, like, people are already trying to like blame it on oh, it's a race thing or whatever. It's it's, it's completely this, this is crazy. I think for anybody saying it's like a race thing it has nothing to do with race. The black people have been killed, white people have been killed, and this is weird. Like you don't do this with race. This is some kind of some kind of sicko. You know, this there's no. It's got to be, or it's a terrorist attack. Um, and it could be. It's terrorism, no matter what you what you say. What, Leah? Yeah. Yeah. It was left on a road rather than on a house. Oh, okay, yeah. So this was just left on a random road. The other ones were actually houses. Yeah. They may not have been targeted at all. I mean, they're just, just like, oh, I know someone's going to be able to pick this up and they're going to get hurt. Well, that's probably all it is. Well, I think they believe that this, it's, you know, these people aren't done. Because, I mean, if you remember, like, the Virginia, remember the Virginia shootings of, that, uh, yeah. you know, when they shot all those people with that sniper rifle? I mean, they're not going to stop. Like, they're going to keep doing it until they get caught you know and i would assume just, uh, like re- watching their work or whatever it was and then probably wanting to be a, at some point they want to be acknowledged usually right mm, absolutely i mean this is you know when you're using bombs and you know obviously this took a lot of planning a lot of time and a lot of thought they really know, uh, they haven't said what kind of bomb i don't think either by the way like we know that like nails and shrapnel and stuff have gone into people but they haven't said exactly what type of bomb it is you know yeah 
you said it was sophisticated. So Leah says sophisticated. So it's so it's either it's either like terrorism, like Muslim type stuff, terrorism. But it it really sounds more like domestic terrorism. And I, you know, we don't know anything about who it is, but it really sounds like somebody from, you know, maybe ex-military or somebody who's gone crazy or something. Obviously, they're crazy no matter what. But it's I, I just picture like you know Grandpa Jones who's like lost his mind. Because it, it, it sounds it sounds like a very weird, like, sort of old-school army-like sort of tactic. Some, like, disgruntled Boy Scout is what it, it sounds like to me. But Yeah, if I had to guess, I, I would I would agree. It was, it's something, it, it's domestic. I, I really don't think it's, you know, any type of foreign terrorism. But, you know, I could be wrong. It's just total speculation. Yeah, you know? Austin's a big place, man. They had, like, everyone, dude, they had people on house arrest last night or something. Or, or like, whatever. I forget what they called it, but... It's like people people couldn't come out of their homes. They were going like home to home checking them. And it was just wild. He's about to knock the pizza down out there. Well, Austin's like a real big college city, you know, right? Is it uh, a lot of college uh kids there, a lot of uh a lot of action. Yeah, there's a lot so, of college kids. Yeah, it's it's that's the other thing that's kind of weird, right? It's like it's a college area. It's kids. It's usually like very diverse. Mm-hmm. There's a large like sort of a gay population there too. I don't know if this area had that to do. I don't think so because you know multiple people said they were that was their area, and of course the woman from Infowars, you know she's not she's not in the gay community, so it's nothing to do with that. There was also one that was left randomly someplace, so it just seems completely random, like someone who just wants to do damage, watch it take place, and do more. So I don't know there's a hundred thousand dollar reward or something too for any information or to turn them in. I, I don't know. I can't imagine the person's going to turn themselves in. But at the same time, you know, if they're a really sick individual that's crazy, they might. But the thing is, to me, the bomb is so sophisticated that I don't think this is somebody who's going to be like, ooh, fame or ooh, I can't wait till they see it was me. It doesn't sound like that to me because a person like that, to me, is usually kind of stupid. You know what I mean? They go out and they get guns or they get a weapon and they do something and then they can't wait to be, you know, discovered or whatever. But to me, it sounds more like people who are want to get away with it and keep doing it and the fact that the bomb is so sophisticated and if you look at the Boston bombing those kids were in school earlier and the next thing you know they're leaving these bombs there like they didn't do anything and then walking away and they wanted to get away with it they didn't want to get caught so you know they didn't want fame they wanted to do all this stuff they were just doing it for real like behind the scenes which I feel like you know that that may be this situation too, because if it was someone who was weak-minded or goofy, you know, looking for acknowledgement, they may take the bait on giving themselves up. But this seems to me like this is so intricate that they're actually smart and they're dangerous because there's a different reason. I don't know, but uh, I don't know, man. What do you find? Uh, what else you got to say? And we'll get out of here, man. But that's uh, Joe Cronin, Mars Mirror, just reacting to this real quick here, and I'm sure we'll learn more later. Well, one one thing is absolutely for sure, and that is that there is a ton of law enforcement <laughs> looking for this person or persons. We can, you know, I mean, I'm sure they have, you know, tons and tons of resources looking for this guy or, or you know, two people, three Imagine people, Imagine if whatever. it was a woman. Imagine if it was a woman. That would just blow our minds. Like, it would be just. Oh, yeah. It'd be yeah, crazy. Because it's never a female, you know, that do the, usually that do these type of things. But that would be so wild. Like, that would be so weird. But no, I'm sure they've fingerprinted devices, fingerprinted whatever they could. You like you mm-hmm. said, there's so much ATF and FBI. Like there are so many a- ATF and FBI agents there. It's it's crazy. Um, and this isn't yeah. This is what the fourth or fifth one. So it, it's 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 crazy right now over in Austin, Texas. Hope you guys are all safe. Um, I've been following it all night. Uh, I hopefully it ends. I hope they catch the good uh, dude. I hope they catch the guy like right now. But uh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, we're out of here. Uh, Wherever you're hearing this, uh, Joe Cronin Show on YouTube, youtube.com slash Corrupted Podcast, and check out Mars Mira on uh, YouTube as well, M-A-R-Z-M-I-R-A, Mars Mira on YouTube, and we'll see you guys, uh, we'll see you guys next time. The following is a production of Corrupted Entertainment in association with The Joe Cronin Show. Listen to other episodes and shows on youtube.com slash Corrupted Podcast. This is Corrupted. This is Corrupted. Corrupted. The Corrupted Podcast.